Hey guys, it's Nicole and this is my first video. I'm coming at you to start my tutorials for fashion and style. So my goal is to kind of do one whole complete look versus just focusing on makeup or focusing on hair. I'm not a professional in either one of those things, but um, I can kind of help guide and uh, get us a whole look together for maybe a Saturday night or a date night or whatever, brunch with your girls, whatever you wanna do. So uh, the first one that I decided to do was um, a like date night kind of style. So I went to Ross last night, which Ross is one of my favorite places. I have three kids, so most of these looks aren't gonna be like Gucci boots and Prada tank tops, okay? So they're gonna be reasonable, um, you know, for us moms and whoever else. Um, so anyways, at Ross last night, I got this really sweet um, kind of like pullover fur thing. And I wasn't sure about it, but the girl at Ross confirmed that it was cute. So I was like, okay, girl, I'll take your word for it. So I took it home and I tried it on with a couple different pairs of pants and I put this look together and I love it. Super simple. So maybe if you have some of these pieces in your closet already, this would just be a great way to throw them together and kind of get the whole thing. So to start, I literally just took a shower. So I don't have anything on my face except for my Clinique moisturizer. I use that every day, um, anytime I get out of the shower and I usually try to put it on again before bed. So that's all that's on my face right now. And then for my hair, so I did um, dry it and curl it just because that would save us some time. But um, so as soon as I got out of the shower, oh, it's not looking so good. As soon as I got out of the shower, um, in the shower, I use Wella. I always wash my hair with Wella shampoo. It's nice and light and I feel like it doesn't really leave anything behind. Um, and then I'll get out and I spray on this It's a 10, which I've been using this for a couple years. And I really uh, feel confident in saying that this is for sure helped my hair get like stronger and just more durable and protects it against the heat. So definitely try that out if you've never tried it. Um, and then after that, I tried, um, I've been using this, it's O-U-A-I. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know how you pronounce this, but this is one of my favorite products. And the funny thing is, is I actually got this in an Ipsy bag um, because I love Ipsy. It's a great way to try new things and just like dabble and it's super cheap. And to be honest, I haven't ever gotten a bag that I was like, I spent more than what I got. I get like great makeup brushes, great hair products, and you can kind of um, cater it to what it is that you like. So I love their hair stuff. So I, I found this and then I, actually, this is a full size bottle, so I went, online and I bought this um, and I use it all the time um, right after my it's a 10 I'll throw that in and it honestly like you can't tell but my hair feels super soft right now and I've already curled it so I mean that's pretty good so that's my hair routine um, so then all I did was dried it after that and then um, used my little wand which I'm still learning about I didn't want to do my wand on this video because I'm an amateur I'm like late to the wanding population. I don't, honestly, I don't do my hair that often because I'm trying to grow it out. So heat is not hair's friend, but, um, so that's what I do with my hair. And then I just wanded it, threw it up in this bun. So I'm just going to start, um, I'm going to start with my makeup cause I'm pretty sure I know what colors I'm going to use to go with this look and the look, and I'll show you this shirt. This is the shirt that I got. Isn't it so cute? And it's definitely not something I normally would pick out for myself, but I saw this and I was like, oh, who doesn't love fur? It's so fancy. And then I just had this shirt in my closet to throw under it. Um, and honestly, it was $6.99 at Hollister. And I'm pretty sure I got like 50% off of that. So bargain shopping. And this is by Black Rivet. And I don't know much about them, but I feel like I am going to look them up because I really love this. And it was like $15. Okay, and then I'm gonna pair it with, um, I already put the pants on. These are just like a red pleather. They're kind of burgundy from Express. And um, I actually have these pants in blue, gray, and black too, because they're so comfy. And honestly, you can wear them with like anything. So I wear these all the time. Uh, but I wanted to do a color with these to kind of glam it up a little bit. So I'm gonna do this burgundy with this. So my color palette that I'm gonna work with is neutrals because I would like to do like a berry lip to coordinate with my pants. And I don't like to do super dramatic eye makeup if I'm doing a super bold lip. So for me, it's like one or the other. 
You know, some people go big or go home. You do everything big. Uh, I like to keep things as natural as I can and not like too overdone. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, so first thing I always do, I already put my moisturizer on. Um, so I have this BB cream that I got. And this was another one that I got from my Ipsy and now I buy it all the time because I love it so much. It's by Marcel. I'm pretty sure it's from Canada. Um, but I just take like two or three little pumps and I'm just going to dab it and kind of put it all over my face. And when you do this, guys, my biggest pet peeve is not blending. So make sure you blend, like go down your neck and your ears. And the last thing you want is like from here up to look flawless. And then from here down to be like, oh, that girl hasn't seen summer in like three months. Okay, so blend, blend, blend. So, and I, I know people love to use all different tools for their face and their foundation, but I think God's gift was giving us fingers that are like perfect blenders. So that's how I like to do it, okay? Blend it out to your hair. And this is super light. I don't like to do a heavy foundation because I don't like it to look cakey and I don't like it to look overdone. So, so that's what I did. Just um, kind of like blends your whole skin in together. So then I'm um, gonna just do a little bit of concealer under my eyes. I don't do a lot of concealer, just a little bit, but it does brighten it up. And you know, a lot of people tell me that they love how bright my eye makeup looks. And to be honest, it's just cause I put this little bit of concealer under my eyes, but it makes a world of a difference. It'll definitely get rid of those shadows and everything. I might've put a little bit too much on, but that's okay. We can just blend it out. And I always get red right here. So I definitely like to cover that up with a little bit. I do like a triangle and then blend it under my eyes. And you don't want to pull too hard. You don't want to give yourself wrinkles, ladies. That's the worst. So just kind of dab it under your eyes, down here and up your cheekbone. Just keep that all nice and bright. See, I already look brighter. Look like I slept last night. And I'm going to just put a little bit on my nose and my chin. I have been, I really just started doing this on my chin because for some reason my chin's been getting red. Is that, I don't even know if that's a thing, but my chin gets red. It's weird. So I'm going to put that there too, just a little bit. And this is um, Tarte Concealer. I love Tarte. I'm pretty um, standard on my makeup. I don't stray very often, but that's why I do like the Ipsy's because I can kind of dabble without committing. So, because I, like I said, I love, Urban Decay is definitely my go-to for my eye makeup. I love this BB cream by Marcel. Um, the next thing I'm going to put on is my, um, just some powder, just a little bit. Um, this is the Becca, and I'm just using um, a powder brush. I love it. This is definitely one of the best brushes investments I've ever made. But, so I'm just going to kind of go up around my head my cheeks I'm gonna kind of stay clear of up here because this is darker than my concealer so I don't really want to undo all the stuff that I just did and then again this is another one go down your neck if you have a low cutting shirt like hit that you guys want to match everything and this is one of my favorite powders it's so nice and light I've been using this for probably a couple years now. Okay. Um, I, like I said, I have three kids, so I try to do my makeup quick. I don't, I can't watch these tutorials that have like an hour long makeup. Okay. I do my makeup in about eight minutes normally on a normal day. Sometimes if I'm going out, I'll spend about a half an hour, but let's be real. I ain't got time for that. Okay. So then I'm going to go in with, let's see. I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to contour this a little bit. So I have this Anastasia palette, obviously I use it all the time, you can tell, and a blending sponge. Um, and I'm just gonna get like one of the middle dark shades. It's actually, let's see, it's called Light Sculpt. Sounds beautiful. I'm just gonna kind of put this under my cheekbones a little bit. Um, and it just gives me a little bit more definition. Kind of looks good. Just put a little bit like that underneath. And then I also like to do my hairline up here. If you do this, guys, you can give yourself like an instant tan. I looked pretty white when I started this, but 
I mean, you want to stay in your own colors. Don't go crazy. Don't be giving yourself like a crazy look, but if you just put like a little bit and then you like blend it and sponge it, you can get, you look like you just got off a plane from Mexico or something while on vacation. And then again, I cannot stress this enough, blend the crap out of this. Just blend it. I should have a Nike commercial, just blend it. And then you can do like your your bottom, your thin here. So you're kind of doing a three. That's what someone told me one time. You kind of do to here and then you want to do to here. I don't do that so specifically. I kind of just do my cheekbones, my chin, or my jawline and then up here. And then a lot of people contour their nose. I don't usually do that with this because this is kind of dramatic for that for me. But when I do my bronzer, I'll bronze my nose a little bit. Okay, so I look pretty tan a little bit. The next thing that I would do myself, get myself with some bronzer. So this is just kind of going to bring out my contour just a little bit. And I'm just using like this super straight brush. You can see how much I've used it, it's like bent backwards, but this is great because it gives you kind of a sharper look. You don't wanna go in here with like fluffy, this is like nice and tight. Okay, so that just browns is just a little bit more. And I'm gonna do up here too. And I brush it back. And I'm gonna steer clear here because I don't wanna have my whole forehead kind of like this will actually make your forehead look a little bit smaller too. And I like that because I do have a big forehead. I always want to get bangs, but then I'm like, do I though? But I know girls with big foreheads should get bangs. That's what everybody says. Okay, so I'm just going to go in here. And you could probably use a smaller brush, but whatever. Just do that like right down here. kind of thins out your nose a little bit. Uh, a lot of people do this like highlighting of your nose on the ends. I don't get it. I think, I don't know, I think it looks silly on me. I feel like maybe it looks good on some people, but I don't know why you'd want to highlight your nose. Like maybe your beautiful cheekbones, maybe your eye, whatever, but maybe not the tip of your nose. But if you like to do that, do it. I'm sure it looks great. Okay, so then I'm just gonna hit myself with just a little brush. I, blush. I don't do a ton of blush, because I like to look more bronze than pink, and I get natural pinks at the end of the day, so. This is just a little bit, see? And I do like, um, not like pink pink, I prefer coral when I'm doing like a bronzed look. Um, this is called Love Hangover by Too Faced and this is definitely one of my favorites. I, I do have this in a few different shades because I will use pink once in a while, but. And then this is just a Firma 103 brush and this is my blush brush and I love it. It's a little bit smaller um, and angled so you can kind of and when you guys are doing this definitely you don't ever want to like go down you don't want to go down because if anything that's why like people get facelifts you want everything to go up so always brush up when you're bronzing highlighting contouring all those things so okay and then last but not least for my face highlight and this is my favorite highlight it's a stick and it comes with a sponge on the other side and this is uh benefit what's what's up it has like light bulbs on it little watts but everybody that I put this on they always go get it because it's awesome so I steer clear of highlighting anything in here because your highlight really you want to start like where your bone would start right there so I'm just gonna do one quick sweep up and one quick sweep up and then this is another thing you want to blend because you don't want to have like look at right now I have like one streak and that looks silly so you kind of want to just like blend it not too hard you don't want to pull your skin but yeah so just blend it out a little bit, blend it out. This was my new year's resolution to start this. So I'm super excited that we're doing this today. I'm gonna try and do one every Saturday, I think. So I'll have like a new look for each Saturday and you can try it or you can fall asleep to it, whatever. I'm just doing it cause I think it's fun. I love makeup, I love fashion, I love clothes. So this is just kind of something fun for me to dive into. All right, so we got, this is pretty much all I'll do for my face. I do have a setting powder. I um, can't think of who's, oh, NARS. I use NARS setting powder and I do really like that. Or you can do like a spray. It's, it's so funny to like spray your face after you spend all this time putting makeup on because it's like, oh, it just feels awkward to me, but I'll do it sometimes. So for my eyes, 
I always save my eye makeup for last. Um, I am gonna do a bold lip, I already know that. So I'm gonna do a kind of a soft, smoky, neutral eye look. And I'm not an eye makeup profession, 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 professional, but um, I'll let you watch me and you can kind of see if you like what I do, if, or if not, just skip it. Um, I just got a couple of really awesome palettes. Um, Urban Decay is always my favorite for eye makeup. I am kind of spreading my wings a little bit. I did buy a Jaclyn Hill palette over the holidays, and I do love it, but I do need to practice with it. It's um, some bold colors that I'm not super, super familiar with, but all right, so let me see what colors I want to use. All right, I think I'm just gonna do something really, really simple. So if you don't have it already, I have um, this pod from Urban Decay, it's called Foxy. And that's my go-to for like just a nude natural look. Even if, guys, if I'm not even doing any eye makeup and I did my makeup, I will always, always just go back and put a nude on because you don't wanna have shiny eyelids. Like look how, those look silly. Like I have all this nice makeup on, don't forget to, don't leave them naked. You don't want naked eyes. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is go through and just throw. And I didn't do it today, but I typically will run my concealer or a primer up over my eyes just to have like a better base. Oh, my eyelashes are stuck. Okay. So... As far as eye makeup, I always, uh, for myself, want to keep my inner eyes nice and bright. I don't ever put dark eyeshadow inside my inner eye. I always use something light, natural, sometimes sparkly. Um, and then you always want to do your eyeshadow so you have like this line here from your nose. That's like where your eyeshadow should end, where your eyebrows end. Okay, so right there. Um, and then, yeah, and then you always want to kind of keep it, you'll, once you practice, you got to practice this, you'll know like where your inner crease, where you're putting those colors, where those should stop and stuff. So let's just dive in. So I'm going to do, hmm, what color do I want to do? Hmm. I want it to be neutral, but kind of smoky, but not over the top. So I'm going to take my Naked 2 Basics palette, which I love. Obviously, look at this, guys. I think it's time for a new one. I think so. So I'm going to take... And guys, less is more. Like, start light. You can always add to it, but it's really hard to go back and, like... I wish this was up a little higher. Oh, well. I'll kneel. So I'm going to start this and just do it, like, over my eyelid. So this is just like a little bit of color. Um, this color is called Cover. I do like it. Obviously, I like all these colors. They're almost gone. So I kind of take this up to my crease. Just kind of roll it back and forth. And guys, anything you do to one eye, do it immediately to your other eye. Ugh, I don't know how people do it. They'll do like one whole eye, and then they'll like try to match the other eye to look the same. I could never do that. So my suggestion definitely is to like anything you do to one side, do it right away to the other side and like always take a step back and make sure like whatever color you just put on is even because you don't want to get done and be like, oh, the base color on this side is so much bolder than the base color on this side. So that would be, that would be terrible. Okay. So, and then I'm going to take the next darker color. It's called primal, primal. Um, and I am going to put that in my crease right here. This is kind of hard to do looking in this, but I'll do the best that I can. Okay. Primal on this side. Okay. And again, this is the part where you want to like step back and make sure you got your colors even. Because if I have more dark on this side, I don't want to have to go back and fix that after I get like my finished look. Okay. And then I'm just using, this is a Luxie 239 precision shader. It has kind of a, a tip, an angle. Can you see that? It's like kind of angled, a little thin. I like this one. It's good for blending and whatnot, but it's, it's precise. 
says so right on the label. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a smaller brush. Okay, this is one that I actually got in my palette. And I love it. So I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use all three of these colors. This is called Undone, and it's just a little bit darker. This is where I'm going to smoke it out a little bit. So I have my base colors on. It's a little smoky. So this one, I'm going to go super tight in my crease right here. And then I'm going to go like kind of along the top here. And this is where it's super important to blend. So I'm just going to flip my brush. I'm not putting any more powder on it. I'm just going to kind of blend it. And then I did forget to tell you guys something, but luckily I just remembered, so we'll go back and do it. Okay. And then I'm just gonna do this. I always tap my brushes. You don't want too much on there. You can always add more, but you don't wanna start with too much. Okay, so I did my crease, and then I'm gonna do just a little bit over my eyelid. Kind of comes to a corner. And then just blah, do that. Just kind of blend it out a little bit. Okay, and I need to check this in my actual mirror mirror because it's hard to see right there. Okay. I feel like I want to do just a little bit more of this dark. Because okay. I do want it to come out pretty smoky. We're looking for sultry today. I did that to that side, so I'm gonna hurry up and do it to this side so that they match. Okay, all right. It's just a little glam. All right, um, what I was gonna tell you, what I forgot. So I take my super tight this one that I was using for my smoke. So I'm gonna go back, um, and I'm a huge fan of this. This makes your eyes look a lot bigger. Just need my eye. Um, go, I'm gonna start with the primal, and I am just gonna like, oh, I have like a fuzzy in my eye, hold on. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and kind of bring it underneath my eye right here. And this is gonna help you get that smoky look too. And you wanna connect it with that angle that I showed you right into those other colors. Okay. So it just adds a little bit of color underneath and I think it makes your eyes look open. I am not a fan of like black eyeliner on the bottom. I think it kind of closes your eye off and makes it look smaller. So I don't usually do that. Plus it normally gets goopy and spreads and Sometimes it's just a hot mess, but if you don't feel like you look like you without it, then by all means, throw that, throw that shit on. Okay, and then this is the Undone. This was my darkest color, so I'm just going to go back. And each time I do it, I do a little bit less. So like here, I did this uh, first color, like to like here. This darker color, I'm only going to do it like halfway down. Basically the same distance as I would do it on the top. So just put a little bit of that. Okay. All right, so I like that. Um, and then the last thing I always do when I do eye makeup is I'm gonna highlight my eyebrow bone. And I don't care who you are or what you're looking for, you should always highlight your brow bone because that's the wrong one. It just looks good. So I have um, a couple different colors that I use. Sometimes I have Polyester Bride by Urban Decay, I really like that one. Um, I just got a palette. I think it's that one I was just telling you guys about, the Jaclyn Hill Morph palette. That has a really great brow bone highlighter, but I I typically, my go-to is this Polyester Bride. It's so sparkly and it's like pure white and I love it. So I take my super small little brush. This is just a It brush. C6184. I don't have a lot of makeup brushes. I kind of just, I'm that girl that like rubs it on toilet paper, gets all the 
color out and just uses it again. But I mean, you can get one for every color if you want. So this I just put right up here, right along my brow bone. And then I'll bring it down. I don't do too much because this is super glittery. So you don't want your whole look to be glittery. Do the top here. Here. Some people like to put it like in the inner eye. I'm not making this a super glittery look, so I'm not going to do that, but you could do that if you wanted to. Okay, so let me think. Oh, and then I like, um, I do have my eyebrows microbladed, but I do go back because you can tell where I got them done right here. They do need filled in a little bit. I probably need to go get it touched up, but um, I just want to kind of fill these in a little bit, bring them around, make them all the same color. I like a thick eyebrow. It's kind of, I don't know if it's trendy or if it's just glamorous, but I love it. They're supposed to be sisters, not twins, so don't spend too much time worrying about whether or not they're like perfectly matched. And I've been using this um, Anastasia brow pencil for forever. I love it. Even before I got mine microbladed, um, this is my favorite thing ever. It's my jam. It's the Anastasia. This is in light brown, or no, I'm sorry, soft brown. And um, they have literally every color, so I don't think you could possibly go in there and come out without one. Um, and then I, I uh, need to blend in my brows just a little, or my the smoky into my highlight just a little bit. It's a little stark for me. Okay, so see how our color kind of is where you want it to go. All right, so literally that's it. I mean, I do my face makeup pretty quickly. So my hair is still a little bit of a mess, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. So um, done with this. I'm going to go throw this top on. And I'll be right back and then we'll have a whole look together. I gotta figure out, I think I'm gonna do like a really um, glamorous black boot. I don't know, I just feel like that's gonna complete this outfit. You could definitely do like a strappy sandal too if you wanted to wear this in like fall or spring, but I'm doing this in the winter. So to be honest, I would probably wear like a nice thick black boot with this outfit. But you could literally make this outfit work with anything you have in your closet. I feel like most of us have some kind of fur shirt. Some of, most of us have like some kind of leather pants. Right, how'd I do? Wow, oh, that's cute. Okay, so let me get my boots on. Oh, I just moved them. My socks. I very rarely spend more than like 45 minutes to get ready. I just don't have that kind of time, guys. Throw some boots on real quick. If you guys have any questions about any of the products that I'm using, just message me because I really do use all of these and I love them. Um, and I can kind of try to help you out with what might be best for you. Okay. So this is it. I don't know if you can see like how red my pants are, but I do like that. Oh, I didn't put my lipstick on. How many times do we do that? Get everything done and then you forget like one thing and it's the most important thing. I'm just going to do this bright red. This makes it festive. Oh, and this is by Urban Decay. I do like their lip stuff also. I'm also a huge fan of Buxom. It's like my other favorite thing. Okay, so 
So that's that. This will be great for the holidays. I feel like even just a holiday party when you want to be kind of fancy and dressy, but maybe you don't want to commit to a dress because where I live, it's cold. So we don't, we don't do dresses all through the holidays, but yeah, so that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe you will try it. Let me know if you try it, how you like it. Uh, let me know if you watch this and you're like, girl, why are you doing that? You should do this. Tell me. I'm all ears. I would love to hear it. Um, so I'm going to, I have, you can like check me out on Instagram. I do have an Instagram page. It's under life addict, Nick, it's life addict. And then N I C Nick. Um, so I do kind of like, I'll take this picture and I'll put it on my Instagram and I'll try to tag all the products that I use. And then I am on Facebook and I do have a website for my blogs that I've been kicking out. Um, it's www.lifeaddict.me. Um, so definitely check that out too. And to be honest, I don't know if I like my hair down guys. I feel like if I was, if I'm like wearing this, I think I would maybe pull it back or pin it back or something. I feel like that's better. I don't know. What do you think? Up or down? Let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.